personal feelings towards putting a check mark towards a project? What makes it, what makes you look at a project and say, okay, yes, we did that well. Yes, we did this. Yeah, look, there are plenty of uh, contractual uh, obligations that are, that are set out in our agreements. Um, again, on time, on budget, on spec, those are all table stakes. Every organization should be able to deliver on those three basic expectations, but that's not how a client generate measure success in its ultimate way. It's just part of the success recipe. Um, achieving the business goals that they've set out is part of it. But look, you asked me a question and that is, how do I know when we get it right? Well, we get it right when our client says so. That is the ultimate measure of success. Uh, you know, you've heard that saying, our client's perception is our reality. Well, that's absolutely true. Um, so at the end of the day, when are we successful? We're successful when our client says so. When they say this project was a success. And until that happens, there's still something to be done. Yeah, and that, and that builds that sustainability and that trust that we, uh, that we all have to have to make those clients our references. And that builds our story. That's huge. Well, let me give you an example. So uh, one of our clients went live in April of this year. Right. Uh, there were some post go live optimizations that needed attention. They had some resourcing challenges, and so they weren't able to take uh, take on those uh, improvements right away. Uh, they asked for some of our help with scoping it and actually uh, providing feedback on the configuration itself. It was not in the scope of our work, but they needed that to get the value from Workday. So we did it as an investment in the relationship. I'm a big believer that these kind of things, uh, you know, what goes around comes around. If you take good care of your clients, they'll take good care of you. And so we're not big on nickel and diming. We're not big on uh, kind of looking at the contract as the sole measure of success. And frankly, it's not. We're successful when our clients say we're successful. And that's huge. I mean, the outcomes that we of, that we recognize here are are a direct product of the service that you talk about that we are so deeply invested in for our clients and that service you have to be um, invested in that for them but I think that's true but look, but look at the end of the day it's it's the team that makes that happen mm -hmm. uh, our team is really good at what they do um, they're good at it in, pa in part because they've had a lot of at bats. Right? Yeah. 25 clients, you get a lot of at bats, get a lot yeah. of practice. Uh, but they're also good at it because they don't think about the problem as a technical problem. Now, well, we'll just put in some technology and boom, magic happens and all of our problems go away. What they're good at is, I like to call it being multilingual. They, they speak healthcare. If you don't understand healthcare, chances are you're not going to design a solution. Right? They speak their particular function, HR, finance, supply chain, IT. They're very deep, and many of our team members have worked as practitioners in those different arenas, as accountants, as procurement managers, as HR specialists or directors. So they know what it's like to walk in our clients' shoes, and they know their craft. They also understand work different and have lots of examples from other clients as to how to get the most value from it. And there's certainly trial and error. We did some things in the, in the early years where now we know there's a better way. We've been able to learn and bring those lessons learned to our clients. And finally, our team is good at change management. If you just get the technology in, but your people aren't using it, they're not taking full advantage of it, then you're leaving a lot of value. On capture. So I think that those are the four languages I think are, are uh, truly essential to a good consultant in our space. And those are the folks we look at, uh, look for, and the, that's the talent that we cultivate and, and grow on our team. And a big reason I think we've been successful. Yeah, uh, I really appreciate that. That really deep dive there. Uh, one, 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 one other thing. Um, so within it, what are you, what would be your goals for our workday practice moving forward? What, I mean, you're our healthcare leader. I know that, I mean, you 
you know, I know you have goals that you want to achieve. Where would you like to be at? What's a perfect world for you? Right. Yeah, look, uh, it's easy to talk about goals like let's double in size and then double again. Growth goals are fine. Mm -hmm. um, truthfully, that's not what gets me out of bed in the morning. Yeah. I want to have 50 clients that are all references for our work. Quality over quantity. In a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. I definitely care much more about the value we're delivering mm -hmm. than the, the quantity of implementation. That's next to me. That speaks up. That speaks volumes to that. Well, Victor, I really appreciate you coming on and talking about everything that you talked about. You've given us some great insight on what we do here at Workday. And um, man, I, I, I'm glad that I got your time today. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.